Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is new comic day, even when there are no new comics, it's a new to you comic book day. And uh, these past few weeks we've been bringing you all kinds of fun things that you can be doing uh, while you're sheltered in place or while you're waiting for your new titles to come out. Uh, and this week's no exception, got all kinds of fun stuff to talk about this week. Uh, let's see, we're going to tell you about uh, things that we've got up on the website, uh, awesome things for you to score at black-cat-comics.com. And last Sunday was Easter, so we thought uh, Resurrection was a really cool theme for comics, because uh, coming back from the dead is certainly not for deities alone. Uh, so we've got all kinds of cool stuff for you. So let's start with everybody's favorite Back from the Dead guys, the X-Men. This is uh, X-Men Epic Volume 5. This is, of course, the beginning of the new X-Men, Giant Size X-Men, X-Men 94. I show you this one because this is the birth of the Phoenix, the death of Jean Grey, and the birth of the Phoenix. Uh, all-time, all-time great stuff. And once you plow through that, then you can read The Death of Phoenix and The Rebirth of Jean Grey. Because just about nobody in comics comes back from the dead more often than Jean Grey. Uh, but just when you think that it gets a little tired, quite honestly, it only gets better and better. Uh, she does it again in the uh, Grant Morrison run of New X-Men a little later. So if you don't know anything about the X-Men, those are three awesome books. If you love the X-Men like I do, then you know those are three awesome books. How about Captain America Volume 1, The Winter Soldier? This is the return of the dead of Bucky, one of those characters who, uh, well, in my lifetime, we all thought he was like Uncle Ben and would never come back. But there he is, coming back. This is one of my all-time, all-time favorite books. There's a reason why they uh, made a movie out of all this stuff. Uh, you, If you love the movies, if you don't know anything about comics, you definitely want to read that one. Another one of the great Back from the Dead stories. And this is Avengers Epic Volume 4. This is the first appearance of The Vision, which is the return of the dead of the original Human Torch. Cool stuff there. Another one of my all-time, all-time favorites. These epics are a little pricey, but there's tons and tons of great material in them, so really, really a uh, great fun thing to do in these times of hiatus. And then there's the DC guys, too. This is The Death of Hal Jordan, one of my favorite, favorite books. This book broke my heart when I was a younger man, because I love me some Hal Jordan. And I was one of those people that complained and complained and complained until they brought him back. This is uh, Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, Volume 1, another one of my all-time, all-time favorites. It really is one of the best modern classics out there. If you don't know anything about Green Lantern, or if you love Green Lantern and somehow this has all gotten by you, this is the first of two volumes, and like I say, can't say enough about how awesome this is. Death of Green Lantern, Rebirth of Green Lantern, and of course, the Rebirth of Superman. This is the return of Superman following the death of Superman. Again, one of the uh, best books ever, all-time classic. Everybody remembers the death of Superman, but most people may not have checked out Return of Superman. Obviously, I'm a big Superman fan. This is one of my favorite uh, death and return stories. Why do I mention that one? Because I just put these guys up on the website. This is the first full appearance of Doomsday. These are the six stories that comprise the death of Superman. Like I say, all kinds of cool resurrection stories to talk about. Everybody remembers this one. This is the newsstand edition. If uh, somehow you let yours get away from you, you can pick up all of these guys on the website. It really, really, really is a great story. Love me some Dan Jurgens. And how about some Batman? Again, everybody knows about uh, Nightfall, but we put up Night Quest up there, the 10 parts. Uh, like I say, you know what uh, Bane does to Batman, but uh, did you read Night Quest, where uh, that's Batman 501, where Azrael becomes Batman. This is Batman 510, where, uh, well... Bruce wants his mask and cowl back. Great, great stuff. So check out all ten parts of the Night Quest Night's End stuff because that's a lot of fun. And last but not least, pulled a couple off the back wall. That is the death of the Flash. But we all know he comes back. He's got a TV show. And this is the return of Elektra. Back in my day, uh, the death of Elektra, Daredevil number 181, was the biggest, hottest books in comics. Uh, really, really put Frank Miller on the map. A little bit later, here's where Electra comes back from the dead. 
So like I say, lots and lots and lots of really cool uh, life and death stories. Really quick, just wanted to also throw out some classic, classic science fiction. I know we showed you these a few days ago, but I'm in a bit of an omnibus mood these days. So this is uh, Essential Aliens. If you love classic alien, you love classic science fiction, this book will keep you busy for a little while. If you love Predator, this is another big chunky book that will keep you busy for a little while while you're uh, in your uh, shelter in place or in your comic hiatus. Then we get to two of my all-time favorites. This is Planet of the Apes from Boom Studios. This takes place uh, decades before the original movie but set in that same universe. Boom Studios has done a fantastic job with Planet of the Apes. So I pitch this book every single chance I get. So here I am pitching this book. And of course, Star Wars. This is Marvel Epic Star Wars Volume 1. This is uh, the original Marvel comic stuff from 1977. Gives you the adaption of the original movie and then takes off on their own stories starring that big giant green rabbit guy that's so awesome and I love him and everybody loves him. You love Star Wars. Maybe you haven't checked out all the original Marvel stuff. Here's your chance. As I said, these uh, Omnibuy are a little bit pricey, but they're huge. There's like 20 comics in every one of them, so more than enough material to keep you busy with stuff. While I'm on the subject, make sure you tune in. Uh, Saturday, 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time, we've been doing uh, Comic Shop Talk, uh, interactive conversation with our comic book people. So uh, tune in Facebook, YouTube, and uh, get in on the conversation. That's all we got for you for this week. That's uh, plenty of stuff for you to check out and have fun and keep busy. Uh, like I say, tune in, check us out on Saturday for Comic Shop Talk. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.